So now we've gone from this where the trigger is sticking, and sometimes it's easy to release the trigger by pushing from the right or from the left to get it to pop back up. And sometimes it's easy to do, sometimes not so easy to do, where we had to kind of put a lot of pressure on it with a thumb to get it to come back out. And we've gone from that to this. As you can see, big improvement. Now we don't have any hangups. Now we'll take a look at what was causing that sticking trigger. First off, I was looking at just about everything on this pistol, trying to find out what the problem was. I inspected the draw bar, uh, the side plate, everything I was looking at, what could possibly be causing the binding. And I want to show you here, of course, this was always my suspect was this play that we have in this trigger. It's just the way it fits on from the hole in that trigger to the pin that's on the frame. It's just there's a lot of movement there as far as lateral. Of course it feels in your fingers worse than it really looks here but it's just a lot of play in there. In fact I would call that I, I, it's, it's beyond play to me personally I think that's just a little bit too much. I'm just going to call it slop. <laughs> There's a lot of movement there. Now, I'm not saying that other pistols I've ever had didn't have some movement, obviously, some lateral play. And there should be some because we don't want any binding of the trigger hole on the pin. Whether it's frame-mounted pin or one that we drive in, uh, a roll pin that we drive in to capture the trigger hole. So here, again, there's a lot of cyber play on it, lateral play if you will. And what was happening is, I kept looking up in here and all the assembly parts, focusing up here because of the way the thing was binding as you saw in the previous video. But what really made me discover what it was, and I'm hoping this shows up in the video, but there is, and there it is I believe, you can see the mark there in the trigger guard. See that scratch? It's right there. All right, the scratch is from the bottom of the trigger. So what was happening is the trigger, now either the trigger is too long as far as how far it extends down because what was happening is, or, is as I pulled the trigger back, it was actually hitting the guard here, the trigger guard, before it was far enough forward for the draw bar to release the hammer. So, the problem is, if it, the, when it hit it, because there's so much lateral play or slop in this connection here between the trigger and the pin, it would go to one side or the other of the trigger guard because it's got kind of a roundish finish on it here. So it would go to one side or the other and bind up. It would fire because you had to pull it past where the contact point was on the bottom of this trigger. You had to pull it past that to release the hammer to get it to fire. So it would, because it was too long, it, instead of just stopping because of the slop here, it went from one side to the other and just went past where it made contact and kind of jammed itself into the trigger guard. So, easy fix. All you got to do is take a bastard file. I took a f pretty uh, fine one and just notched out the tip of the trigger. Very easy to do. And now the problem's gone. So, I think there's two problems here. If this was a tight fit between this trigger hole and the pin, or a tighter fit with not as much slop in it or movement, <laughs> then what would have happened is this trigger would have been too long still, of course, and, but when it hit the, where that scratch point is, it wouldn't have had enough play in it to allow it to move over to the side far enough to clear as you pressed it back, to clear where it was making contact and jam itself and fire the pistol, but it's jammed itself over there on whichever side you were pulling your finger from. So it kind of it could jam to the right, it jammed to the left, and you had to press the left side or the right side to get it to release. Now. Sometimes it didn't do that, and all I can only think is, as I'm pulling the trigger, when it didn't do it, 
I was actually having a lifting up motion on the trigger itself. So that kept it just enough. It wasn't very much. It's only a few thousands for me to file off there to clear it. So it wasn't very much there. So there's an, I'm thinking there's enough movement in this pin connection with the trigger that it has actually rode up as I pulled it and was able to fire and then come back and clear. So as you saw in the beginning of this little video I did, you saw the before and the after. I cut back, I cut some film out of the first one and showed it before and after. Now it just shoots reliably. It's just bang, 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 no problems anymore. And it had nothing to do with the screw being too tight on the grip, which of course presses on the side plate and your <laughs> the uh, draw plate. Nothing to do with that at all. It was actually the trigger. And of course I wasn't looking down there and it was actually accidental when I looked down there and saw some scrapage. And then I took the trigger off and looked at it and said, wow, making contact down there. And then I started looking down there and I could see exactly what was happening right away. So now of course, even though it's still moving side to side, it doesn't matter anymore because now it's not hitting the guard anymore because of the, what I took off the end of the trigger. So if any of you guys have the same problem out there, that's an easy fix. Don't have to send it back to the factory. But again, I'm still not totally happy with how much sideways slop there is in this trigger. It's working now, and that's fine. That's, the, of course, the purpose of the pistol is to work when you need it to. But I, I wish that uh, they would tighten up drill a smaller hole or not machine as much off the shaft when they do the machining on this frame. So that's the cure and I got some other little beasts with this pistol but I love the pistol overall. I think it's a great little pistol. I think that uh, they could do a little better job as far as their manufacturing process tolerances and quality control because this pistol probably should not have gone out of the factory like that with the trigger actually scraping the trigger guard down there with the potential to cause the issues that it did. Right, so that's it. Now everything's fixed. Now I can start working on proper loads for this pistol. And I'm gonna do a little video on that too, the loads that I come up with that are reliable in this pistol.